it's Sarah and this is my ATC binder. An ATC is an artist trading card and they're awfully fun to make and I've been making them pretty much since the beginning of my YouTube career. I actually um, did a few swaps in the beginning and um, I just love them. You can get them in kits the ATC store is a great place to get a kit, but mainly I just make them, a lot of times I like to use paper pads, like this was, I remembered this because um, of the tin I just did with uh, Steampunk Spells. So I'll show you, this is a lot of different Graphic 45, and I don't even remember the name of the, um, the paper lines, so forgive me, but it's graphic 45. It's all graphic 45. So basically, an ATC is two and a half by three and a half inches. And you can do anything you want to. It's an artist trading card. They're meant to be traded. They're not meant to be sold or, um, oops, my little pearl moved. But uh, I know people do. People do sell them and then it's called something different. Um, but they are so fun to make, especially when you use a paper pad. Uh, I don't, I think, I don't remember the names of these, you guys. Um, and I didn't, I just called these delightful and I did a series because there were little angels on here, little fairies, pixies, I don't know. But look at this. And then I just use, this is from the paper line and I made a punch. I punched out two bows and used that for a bow a wood veneer butterfly, a, p a bit of uh, metal bling, and some ribbons, and some pearls. So, oh, don't forget stickles too. Stickles is awesome. And um, really anything goes. So the reason I, this is what I was going for with these, I think. I was using one piece of metal. See how there's a piece of metal on each one? Um, a bow. So I have a metal bow, and so I tried to keep it in a theme here, I think, you know. Um, so that's a lot of times depends on what you have on your desk. So when you go through your supplies, whatever you feel like playing with on that day, you can just make an ATC with it. And it's a super uh, relaxed way to go because it's such a small surface. You don't have to fill a lot of space. It's not as, like, intimidating when you look at that uh, blank slate, right? I'm trying to put these back and it's not working. Now this is just a, um, a trading card sleeve and this is what everyone makes their pocket letters with. But these are all, look at this one. They're so cute. Again, I punched out some butterflies. I used some ribbon. Mary Allen gave me that ribbon. My, my, um, wood veneers again, lots of stickles and bling and ribbon and I mean it's super cute. There's little fairies peeking up from that ribbon in the back. Uh, and then you get over here and we did, look here's the steampunk ones. This is steampunk spells. I did two with steampunk spells. I can't get them out. Maybe I'll just leave them in there. There's Dr. Dr. Dreadful. And I used the paper line in the background and popped him up and just put gears and spinners on there. And this one's very similar. I just used the paper line again to put a border. I edged it with my gold leafing pen. Um, but these are beautiful. These are one of the earliest paper line I, I got, and I don't remember the name of it. I'm so sorry. I should write it on the back. Go back and find out. But these are super cute too. French Country. This is a winter one. Winter Wonderland. Another winter one. And they're all just made with from the paper stacks. This is all Graphic 45. Uh, all Graphic 45. More Graphic 45. Then I got into some Tim Holtz stuff. So if you feel like playing with your Tim Holtz stuff, get out your stamps, get out your inks and some paper and just stamp it down there and rub some ink on there and look what you come out with, right? 
So I did this little train. Cut this is from a paper pet or um actually this might be from a stamp. The train tracks are from a stamp. I fussy cut them out and put them on there, pop up some things, and it's awesome. Of course, I add stickles and use gel pens and um, all types of things to embellish with, but that's just paper. This is all just paper. There's no other, um, no ribbon or anything. Um, this one does. This one I used um, an anchor. I have Bon Voyage, and I went over the lettering with a little bit of um, glossy accents, popped up this sign, this sign, and put a little uh, metal anchor, and then the ship in the background. Um, this is when I was playing with um, burlap and all that stuff. More Tim Holtz, though. This is definitely Tim Holtz stuff. All the kind of type of accessories that you get with Tim. The, these are I um, was using lawn fawn stamps ma mainly. I know this one I think is a stamp, Penda stamp, but this was when I was stamping and using the stamps as my embellishments for the ATC. Um, I know that this was a little on clearance paper pad that I got and it was a Disney princess line or something. Um, so I cut the paper out so that it had the castle in the background and just outlined everything with my gold um, jelly roll pen. I had some stamps by Lawn Fawn so I stamped out the unicorn and glittered him up and everything and a cloud popped it up it says follow your dream and just use some ribbon gold leafing around the edge and it's so cute. I love them. I think they're super fun like if you're just wanting to be creative and it's a quick easy project um, and then of course I have to add my buttons right you know I love buttons again so, so and a lot of times I'll do three at a time because you can do that so I have the cloud the cloud the cloud so I stamp them out I cut them out again I took a castle from the paper line and and put a little that these are brads these stars are little brads let me go, come in so the stars on top of the castle are brads that I put through the paper but then when I backed it with this you can't see it this little dragonfly is like a, a button. It's in the button packs. And there's my little my little knight, right? And he's with his dragon out there. And I put some ribbon. Mary Allen definitely gave me that. I loved it for like a grassy look. And it says, be brave. And so I just love these. This is so fun to come back and reminisce about these. Because I think I'm going to paint an ATC. I've never painted one. I'm going to leave that. I can't get it back in. But these are all stamps that I stamp, I color, I cut them out, and then I make a little, a little ATC with it. Look how cute she's sitting on mushrooms. Now this, these mushrooms, I think, no, no, I colored them. I colored them with Copics probably. The dragonfly is a stamp. I think, oh gosh, I know who gave me that stamp too, and I... Eileen, Irene, Irene gave me those that stamp. Thank you, Irene. Um, and then I just bling it up. They're so cute. Uh, let's see what else. Let me see if I can get this back in here. But I am going to be painting, just painting some ATCs. So these are watercolored. I stamped these images onto watercolor paper and then watercolored them. So fun. These are Stampendous images. Um, yeah, Stampendous. Um, look at this. This is just done with all stamps. The barn was a stamp, the bird, the fence, the chicken, the cow. Everything in here was a stamp that I stamped out, colored with my Copics, and then made a background and glued them down, pop some of it up, use a little piece of ribbon to like hold the cowbell on. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So then I did some Zentangle ones and I, I have a tutorial for this, pretty sure. Uh, what else? Then I started getting into mixed media. So this is what represents my little bit of mixed media, a lot of mixed media backgrounds with different types of paper 
Um, I think there's tissue paper back there, stamping, micro beads. You see the little micro beads on there? Stickles, micro beads. Um, and I drew a little bit, but this is a stamped out, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's a stamp cloud, cut it out of um, book pages. I actually drew these. This is based on a stamp by Stampendous, but I made it smaller and drew it. Um, so cute. Oh my gosh. I had so much fun making these. I'm totally, I'm in love. I love these. More Zentangle. And these are actually called um, Zia. Zia because it's an image. So you can cut, and this is based on uh, a piece of stained glass that I did but it's an image in the background, these um, hot air balloons, and then I zentangled it, but it means zentangle inspired art because zentangle is this. This is zentangle when you just, just do random doodles, and this is on black cardstock, and I just used my gel pens, but that's zentangle where it really isn't an image or anything. It's just doodles, so then, oh, you know what? These are downloadables. These are downloadables. These are by, this is some of the first ones I ever did, 5914. And I just used the image on the downloadable because it was so gorgeous. Um, and then cut out a few other things from, the, like really just the butterfly from the paper line. And added glossy accents to the, to the different, like the berries and some ribbon and a little frog. I have frog. I think I have frogs on all these. Look at these. I have frogs on them. I love frogs. So these all three, it's a set. You know, I made three at a time and it's just called green. And I used the same ribbon up, up, down, and sideways. The same butterfly in different sizes and three different, um, well, these are the same frog charms. And it's so cute, so fun. Uh, I think this might just be Kay and Company, these little birds. This is when I first started like collaging. Now these are from, you know what these are? These are awesome. These are from Mod Podge. I'm pretty sure you can get little paper packets, paper they're more like a pad, like a pad that has, um, that you rip the papers out. But they have all these images. This was travel, this whole thing. So these three are my travel ones that I did. And I just cut out different images from the paper. Like there's a poster, a Paris poster. That's a Brad. The world is a Brad. Um, stamps. And in the background is a map. You can kind of see there's a map background, a suitcase, a postcard. It says voyage. So it's travel. It's all travel. See, the set is called travel. And I made these in um, May of 14. And I just add twine and because they were very antique -y looking. So again, I do the same thing on each. I try to keep the theme stays the same. I use the brad on each one um, and just different cutouts. So there's a woman with an airplane and like a globe background. I just think they're amazing. I just love them so much. Okay. Then these are some of my early, early, early. Another Tim Holtz one. Here's Steampunk. I think I did these in a swap. I actually traded these, but I made another one because I liked it so much. And this image... I do not remember where I got this image. I think it's a downloadable. Yes, this is by, um, I can't think of it, but I know I it's a downloadable. And then I put these metal wings on there and just jazzed up her hat with these little tiny uh, gears and blinged her out. And I just used clocks as the background. But I loved it. It was so fun. And then I, she's very similar to my steampunk box that I did. Oh, this one's pewter. Remember, I did the pewter ones. This is pewter. I just made my little chicken design and did it in pewter. Here's another one from the Disney set. This should go back. Let's see if I have room. No, I don't have room. Um, but there's Cinderella. If you guys haven't seen it, 
I, I don't know if it's called Ella Enchanted, but it's so good. The one with um, Kate Blanchett plays the evil stepmother, and it's so cute. It's adorable, and we just watched that the other night. But this was the paper line, so I just cut this into a two and a half by three and a half inch paper, and then embellished with stickles, a little star, Brad. Um, a piece of ribbon to represent grass and a frog with a little crown on and that's it this was super easy and bling at the top and bottom so really not a lot to do that um, let's see and then there's my clay ones this one was by Maya my granddaughter oops oh I gotta glue that on it's just a bead that she didn't embed it deep enough into the clay so I can glue that back on see Maya one seven teen fifteen so last January um, but these were fun this is like uh, all of my what is this called um, I'm gonna do another clay project like this I'm gonna do um, a total tu tutorial on this I'm pretty sure I might have done it but uh, a paper mache box and it's called applique polymer clay applique so it's like a field of flowers and a sun and it says joy and there's a um, dragonfly and just some swirlies this is um, some, it's polymer clay again and these are molds these little faces are molds and then I used bling and just swirlies so you just got to be careful you don't make it too thick I got to glue that back in some art dolls down there and some more collage this is like mixed media collage I'm sorry not mixed media um, downloadables these are downloadables here's inches I did inches I did one two six inches and then I put them on an ATC so you can turn your inches I'm sorry I've been out of the shot a lot into an ATC I think I did these in a trade too and I was using, um, what is this shiny paper? I was using metallic paint. These aren't jelly um, prints. Actually, I haven't done any jelly print ATCs. So that's it, guys. That's my little share of my ATCs. I'm going to be doing a painted one. That's what gave me this idea. So I pulled out some and I'm pretty sure Jill gave me these Jill is oh, I don't remember God, I think I'm, I'm getting Alzheimer's but and that's no joke but I have these little wings that I ordered from the ATC store your ATC store it's called I'll put the link in the description box um, they sell these little applique wings and I think I'm gonna paint an angel based on the design of one of these. These were from a calendar that I had. So I'm gonna kinda play with this design and um, I'll come back and I'll do a tutorial for this. Or I might, and then I might just wing one with like a daisy and stuff like that. But this is canvas paper. This is sticky back canvas. So I think I'm gonna use those as my base. And then I'll glue them to, um, this is just uh, file folders. So, um, I'll do that, all right? So, guys, look it up. Look up your ATC store and play. Make some ATCs. Thanks for watching.